today we are going to work on a um, work backwards problem and a work backwards problem is when you are missing um, some information or a quantity at the beginning of, of an equation. So our problem reads that Thomas went to the bookstore with money in his pocket. He bought a Harry Potter book for $12. His mom then gave him $20. Thomas decided to buy a 39 Clues book series for $37. When Thomas left the bookstore, he had $19 in his pocket. How much money did Thomas start with? Well, since we don't know how much he started with, we are going to start with an, a box. And that's just going to represent the money that he went into the store with that we don't know. That's what we need to find out. And we see that the first thing he did was bought a book for $12. So when you buy something, your money goes away. So we'll write minus 12. Then his mom generously gave him $20. So when somebody gives you money, you, the quantity of money you have increases or goes up. So we are going to add $20. Then Thomas decided to buy a book series for $37. So his money went away, so we will subtract $37. And we see that when he left the bookstore, he had $19 in his pocket. So we'll do equals 19 because this is what he left with. Now for a work backwards problem, we don't start at the front where this empty box is. We in turn start at the back where the 19 is. So we'll start with 19 and we're going to work backwards. When we work backwards, we use the opposite operation. So instead of 19 minus 37, we're going to do 19 plus 37. and we get 56. Now that's not our answer yet, but we are going to use this number to help find our answer. We have to work all the way through the equation. So instead of 56 plus 20, we will do 56 minus 20, which most of us can do in our head, and we get 36. And then lastly, we'll take that 36, and instead of 36 minus 12, We'll go ahead and do 36 plus 12. And we get 48. And that 48 is going to go in our box. So we will learn that Thomas started with $48 in his wallet before he went to the bookstore. An easy way to check this problem and check your math to see if you're right is to start at the front and go forwards. We would do 48 minus 12 and get 36. We do 36 plus 20 to get 56, and 56 minus 37, which would give us 19. And you know that if you don't end up with 19, you probably went wrong somewhere. So your quiz is going to have two questions that are very similar to this.